Right, I was just doing a bit of a deep dive into the scientific papers on the water testing done in the Osirion in Egypt, because it is my favourite location in Egypt, my favourite ancient site, and some really interesting data from the wells that were tested around the Osirian and the Osirian water itself. And just a quick catch up, the Osirian is this sexy 70 ton pillar megalithic structure slash temple slash not quite sure what it is, ancient site, which is full of water. To this day, it still has running water in and around the site. Like this, that, that's the water. Now this looks deceptively like it's just a little pond. Do not be deceived. This channel here is 15 meters deep. That's five story building deep, full of water. And it's connected to an ancient aquifer that is 900 meters deep in, in the earth. But previously, I thought it was only one water source that filled the Assyrian. It's not. It's actually three. According to this 2022 uh, paper where they tested all the surrounding waters, they've worked out that three water sources are filling this water. Whether or not that was originally three... And originally it was just the aquifer and now it's got two more but anyway um it's also the old nile a bit of old nile water from seven nearly seven miles away and a bit of new nile water post when they built the big 1970 something dam in egypt it changed all the water systems and the groundwater table and so now there's a bit of new nile water and old nile water and then this ancient aquifer so Three bits of water. Anyway, on to the chemical analysis. analysis. So these are the six wells that they tested surrounding the Assyrian and the Assyrian itself. And it was interesting that well two, which is the closest one to the Assyrian and the Assyrian water itself, had the most similar results. But there were some massive disparities between the well that's surrounding the Assyrian and the water that's actually in there, leading people to wonder whether or not there is a filtration system happening inside and underground the underground and uh, yeah inside and under the ground of the Assyrian uh, to filter the water because it is so much cleaner and purified in the Assyrian than in the wells surrounding it even though it looks like green and pretty pretty mucky and gross it's actually the cleanest water of the surrounding area it is technically drinkable it has got the highest ph of all the wells tested and the lowest electrical conductivity and the lowest levels of like magnesium and sodium and all the other sort of minerals that were in the other wells leading to the idea that this is somehow being filtered and what else was interesting oh yes it also had the least amount of fecal bacteria which means that the wells in the surrounding area have more poo in it. So if you need a beverage at the Osirian and you're desperate, don't drink from the wells. <laughs> drink, drink from the Osirian, it's your best bet. You can see here the pH level. This is the two separate testings from the Osirian on different dates. Um, they are both higher than the surrounding uh, wells and also the drinking water. So apparently between 800 and 1000 is the number that you're looking for for like okay drinking water anything over 1200 is like no so do not drink from the wells apart from maybe well too the well that's like super close to the Assyrian on the same ley line um but the Assyrian water is it's all right there we are you can look at these uh, papers yourself. It's on the acedaproject.org. You can just type that into Google and it's got all of the Assyrian like research and current research and historical research that you can go through in the archive. I also want to shout out Curious Being Tina on YouTube because I love her channel and she uh, has done a recent video on this um, and she informed me of a lot of this. So, oh, I'm so excited. Um, check out Curious Being. Now, there is some more interesting things that have been revealed even further down under the Assyrian, but I'm going to do a separate video on it because I'm already, this is already quite a long video. So um, come back for like part two on what's even more under the Assyrian.